What happens in a collaborative divorce? Want to know? It's pretty simple. Number one, choose a lawyer who believes in using the collaborative process to help families divorce in a better way. Number two, work with your lawyer to select the other members of your professional team, which usually include a financial professional and a facilitator. Number three, sign a contract called a participation agreement, agreeing you will communicate constructively and with respect. Fully disclose all important information needed for your case. Maintain the confidentiality of all communications during your case. Refrain from using the court to intervene in your case. Make money available from your family finances to pay the fees for both of you. Number four, meet with the team comprised of you, your spouse, your respective lawyers, the financial professional, and the facilitator. You will discuss your goals and interests, options for resolving problems or issues, what information needs to be gathered to make good choices, how to creatively resolve problems and come to an agreement. Number five, you and your lawyer will work to finalize the legal documents. Number six, you come together with your team to sign the final documents at a closing meeting. And number seven, one of the lawyers will file the necessary documents with the court. That's it. Pretty simple, huh? <laughs>